is going to be a little tutorial on how to get uh, FACAP 2.2.0 up and running. Uh, it's, it took me quite a while to find all the information uh, scattered all over the internet on how to get this thing actually working. I was getting a lot of errors and stuff uh, when I was trying to start out with it at first. Um, so uh, what you want to do first is download Python. Um, you also want to get Visual Studio 2015. It has to be that version. And then also get CUDA 9.0. has to be that version. I think the, the latest one is actually 9.1, but uh, mine didn't work with it. So get the CUDA 9.0 and also the uh, patch that's listed there. I'll put links to, to all these uh, down in the description. But, uh, so this is the, uh, the, well, here's the download Python. Uh, you just click on the 364, download it, and install it. Uh, here's the CUDA 9.0. You want to make sure you choose your operating system, uh, what version Windows you have, and make sure that you choose the EXE local. Do not use the network version. Um, then you'll download the main, the base installer here, which is just under uh, one and a half gigs and then uh, also download the patch. So you'll install this. After that's done, um, you'll install the uh, patch. Uh, the one thing that you got to do first, though, is uh, install the uh, Visual Studio 2015 first before you do the CUDA, um, because the CUDA makes, it integrates with Visual Studio 2015. So the the way that I did it is installed Python, installed Visual Studio 2015, then did the CUDA, then installed the uh, fake app. And this one's pretty straightforward. You know, you just uh, go to the uh, fake app uh, forums. It's actually at the forums, but it's fakeapp.org, and then in the forums. Um, I'll put that link down there in, uh, in the uh, info section, too. Um, so you want to download the main app, which that one goes pretty quick. This is the big one, though, the core library, and it's a zip file. <clears throat> when I downloaded it from this link, uh, it got to like 95, 98% and failed. But luckily there was a, a link that I could click on that said uh, download it directly from uh, Mega. So I did that, and then it completed real quick. Okay, so uh, once you get all that stuff installed, um, when you start up the app, after you install it, um, it's going to come up with a, a, a pop-up that says you need to follow the instructions on the website to get this core library installed. And what you do is you uh, copy that zip file over to your C users app data local blah 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 this big long thing here copy or cut and paste that core zip to this folder right here the API um, if you don't know when you go to the C users and then your username this app data folder isn't going to show up um, unless you have like uh, show hidden files or something like that but all you have to do is once you go into your username folder, just go up to your, uh, you know, like this right here. You would just um, click up in the box and then put the slash app data, and uh, it'll go into that app data folder. Then you can follow the uh, the rest of this, the local fake app, all that. Once you get it, the core zip paste it into that directory, you extract the contents to that directory, and then uh, if you still got your uh, uh, fake app open, close it and reopen it, and you shouldn't have that pop-up. Uh, other than that, as far as the install goes, uh, you should be done with the installing part at that point. Um, so then you're going to you'll be looking at this window right here, and for me, what I did was, uh, you know, on my storage, which is uh, my G drive, um, I created a folder called Deepfake, 
And then uh, these right here are the two videos that I used. This is, and this is just for testing, you know, they, <laughs> they don't mean anything to me. Um, so this one right here is the final video that I, that I wanted to use. So I wanted to use this girl's face on the girl in this video. So that's one and two. I just named them one and two. So what you're going to do is uh, for the get data set, you have to get the data set for both of these videos. So you'll put in the location here, um, the name of the video, and I change it to 24 frames per second. You can leave it at 30, whatever you want to use. Um, so then you click on the extract, and what's going to happen is it's going to create this data set and then dash the name of your video, minus one. Uh, so it creates all these uh, these pictures, and then this is the folder that, that you're concerned with, this extracted folder. I went through and removed all the, uh, the thumbnails th or the pics that weren't faces or that were had like motion blur in them or were just black space. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, deleted them. And so then you're left with that. And then after you do it for the first video, then you go and do it for the second video again. So this will change, you know, in my case, it changed to dot MP4. Click on the extract. You'll get the data set dash whatever the name of your video is on the second one. Same thing, went into the extracted folder, removed all the the pictures that wasn't her face or wasn't good enough quality. Um, okay, once you get your data set, then you're, this is the long part. You go to the train. You have to create this uh, model location is not created, so you have to go, you know, I went to my deep fake folder and just created a, a folder called model and it's just blank just a blank folder so you'll put that location in for the model data a was my uh, was data set one extracted so you have to go into the data set one folder and then into the extracted copy that location and paste it in for data a and you know like I said this is girl's face that I want to replace that goes into data A and then the same for data B is going to be the face that you want to use in your final video so it's going to be the extracted folder in your data set you know dash 2 in my case um, extracted uh, copy that paste it into the data B and then click on train you're going to get uh, another pop-up window that sh in fact I might be able to do it here um, but what happens is you get a pop-up and it's got like three or four rows of pictures from the two data sets the two extracted and you'll get this uh, loss um, you want this as low as possible so that's where they're they're talking about you know it'll take you eight hours to get down the longer you run it I guess the better quality you're gonna get um, so since I'm recording right now, this probably is not going to work. So I'll just end it. Um, okay, once you get the training done, then you're going to go over to the Create tab. Model uh, is going to be that same model folder that you created. Um, and then your video right here is going to be final video that that you want to uh, replace the face on so mine I wanted this one dot mp4 so copied that location put it in here uh, went slash one dot mp4 and uh, I said like I said I set this to 24 you can leave it at whatever you want here's that model folder Copy the location, paste it in there, and then uh, click on create. And what it will do is it makes this working directory. It takes quite a while, um, but it splits everything up, does the extracted thing from the video, and then does the merged faces. I didn't let the training run very, very long, so 
you know, it's kind of fuzzy right now, but it, it was just, I wanted to make sure that I could get all the way through the program without any errors since uh, I had been having quite a few errors. Uh, mine was I didn't have Python installed, and then I also had the wrong version of CUDA installed. Once I got that, everything worked great, and then this was the uh, final, you know, swap video. Face is blurry, but you, you know, you can kind of see where it's replacing some of this girl right here with her big lips. Um, you can kind of see Just a in that, uh, in that other video. So oh, that's uh, that's the gist of it. Hopefully, this uh, helps out other people that have been looking all over the internet trying to figure out how to get it working. Uh, the main thing is the prerequisites. Uh, there needs to be better documentation on that. So, if this uh, helped you out, go ahead and uh, click the thumbs up and subscribe so I can maybe start making some money on YouTube. <laughs> Got to get up to that thousand subscribers. Uh, so. That's it.